it is so incredibly important to tell the truth. Hey guys, it's me again, Douglas, and as you can see, I'm wearing some armor. Yeah, because today I want to talk to you about the armor of God, specifically the belt of truth. Back in the day, soldiers used to wear armor made of iron or steel, and it would protect them in battle. And the Bible says that we should put on the full armor of God, which includes the belt of truth. Now, the armor of God is not physical armor. You know, it's not made of iron or steel or definitely not cardboard like this. The armor of God is spiritual. These are dark days. And if we put on the full armor of God, we'll be able to take our stand against the devil's schemes. And you can wear truth like a belt in a suit of armor. Now, I don't know if you know this or not, but a belt is a pretty important part of a soldier's armor. Yeah, and sometimes it wouldn't even just go around their waist. It'd go up on their shoulders and all over the place. It'd be this whole big harness. And almost all of the armor would connect to that harness, that belt. So if you had... If you had, you know, chest armor or you had, you had armor on your arms or on your legs, it would all connect to that harness. It would all connect to the belt. And it would help to redistribute the weight because armor was pretty heavy. And it would help everything stay in place. It was super important. And it's super important for us as Christians to wear the belt of truth, to speak what is true, to stand up for what's right, to not be deceitful or tricky, and to speak the truth in love. Our integrity matters big time. You know, it's so, so important for us to share the gospel, for us to tell people about the good news of Jesus Christ. But if we are liars, people aren't going to believe us, even if we tell them what's true. If we lie to somebody one minute and then tell them that Jesus loves them the next minute, do you think they're going to believe us? No, they won't. Our whole message means nothing to anyone if we don't speak the truth. And sometimes it can be really, really tempting to lie. For example, if my friends came and they wanted to play soccer with me, and I asked my mom if I could go play soccer, and she said, yeah, you can go play if your room's clean. Is your room clean? If my room is not clean, but I say, yeah, it is clean, do you think my mom will go let me play? Yeah, she would, because she trusts me. But what do you think's going to happen if she finds out that my room is not clean? Yeah, big trouble for Douglas. And then next time, if my friends want to play soccer, my mom asks if my room is clean, and I say it is, do you think she's going to believe me? No. Even if it is clean, she's not going to believe me. She's going to have to go check because I've broken that trust. So seriously, guys, it is so important for us to speak the truth, to say what is true, and to do it in love, right? Like if you think somebody is ugly, there's no good reason to go up to that person and tell them they're ugly. Even if you think it's true, that's not speaking the truth in love. God wants us to stand up for what's right, to not lie, and to speak the truth in love. So my challenge to you guys today is that you would put on the full armor of God, including the belt of truth, so that you'll be able to take your stand against the spiritual forces of evil.